Welcome back, everybody. Dave ABQ Sports Cards. We are coming at you live from ABQ HQ. Getting ready for ABQ Family Feud and Auction Mania. We are also going to be streaming tomorrow night. It'll be our January Mixer. January Mixer will include Mega Box of Bowman Chrome, Mega Box of Bowman Platinum, and it was two boxes of Tops 206. But thanks to the break being full, I am adding a box of Tops 206 tomorrow night. Ethan H., welcome in. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Bud Stoney, Cincy Sports Cards, 25 Perez, RTS, and Steve R. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It was 25 per division for that. It is all sold out. It sold out probably about a week ago. And that's what we're doing. Jay's Mix, RTS in the house again. Welcome, sir. And that is uh, what we're doing tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m., Mountain Time break is sold out. Divisions were taken, and we spun the Wheel of Destiny on a video earlier in the week for it. Uh, we're going to go through some mail that came in from eBay before we get started, and we're going to be opening up this box of WWE Then, Now, and Forever. 42 cards in the box. Before we get started on... ABQ Family Feud and Auction Mania. We're going to get these out of the way here so we can bring in our Auction Mania box. Uh, mystery box Monday will resume this Monday. Got a couple mystery boxes, so we're going to go for a uh, for a couple weeks. The kids were doing yoga, and I was too busy laughing at them. Steve, I'm sure it's in there. I just haven't checked yet because it was hilarious watching them try to do that stuff. All right, here we go. There's the box, Auction Mania box. A little, a little full there, 800 count box is what we're gonna be going through. I added some stuff to it. Congratulations to Bud Stoney, winning the two team bags from the hot box opening that we did, answering both trivia questions correctly. So congratulations, sir. Both of those go to you. He answered them first correctly. Somebody said the early bud gets the worm. So there we go. We got uh, mail days out. I think Steve R's got a package on the way. Uh, Adam B, a couple of you got some packages on the way. So Walk Off Wax, sponsored box, RTS, doing it up. All right, we got some mail in from eBay. We're going to show those off. Got some cards. I don't think I paid more than $2 for any of these cards. First one is Rio Ruiz from 2020 Tops. It is a advanced stat. It is 178 out of 300. Next one was a green gallery heritage of Clayton Kershaw. Green Parallel, Gallery Heritage, Clayton Kershaw. This one is numbered as well. It is 56 out of 250. Next up is a Emperors of the Zone from Stadium Club. Not my favorite set. Redbeard, welcome in. Not my favorite set for uh, inserts, but they do have numbered ones. This is 46 out of 99 for Tyler Glass now. Bud Stoney, man, cranking out those live streams. RTS is correct. Next is a Kyle Tucker 2020 Tops Gallery. That is a private issue, so this one's going to be numbered as well. And this one is... He gave me two Kyle Tuckers, so... This one is 175 out of 250 on the private issue. If you guys are not subbed to Redbeard, make sure you... Hop on over. If somebody can drop his link, give him a sub. Good stuff going on over there. Up next, we got Dean Dietz. This is another private issue from 2020 Tops Gallery. This one was 224 out of 250. Oh, man, I love these. 
I love the blue, I love the sapphire, and I love that I got it really cheap. I'm sure the rest of the set's not going to be as cheap for me, but yeah, this one was fantastic. Jesus Sanchez from the Horse Mackerels on the Bowman Chrome Prospect. Blue Sapphire. Love these cards, man. Just love the look of them. I got two of them. Next one is Owen Miller. Completed one of your major goals. An auto of the one. Bartolo Cologne. Very nice. Yeah, the Bowman Draft Sapphires are fantastic. Like, the top Sapphire from before was fine. But it was just like a regular top Chrome card, and they just added the cracked ice or sapphire, however you want to call it. This blue, man. Ever since they started doing that, like a uh, top Chrome sapphire from 16, even 17 was fantastic because of the blue. But yeah, the blue just makes it pop, man. All right, next up is a 2020 Select. Y'all know my love for this set. 2020 Select Jeff McNeil, red Premier Prism parallel that is numbered 137 out of 199 there's redbeard's link everybody hop on there real quick it's not going to take you away from the stream and give him a sub please fantastic stuff going on over at redbeard anybody else wants to drop their links on there man do it up you don't got to be all over everybody's videos but show some support man everybody trying to get paid like rts making that big baller money Chad Bettis on the 150-year insert. This is a black parallel. This one's going to be numbered 83 out of 299. This is my goal this year. Smaller sets, serial numbers, parallels, that kind of stuff. That's what I'm going to be trying to do this year. All right, we got about three minutes left. Just enough time to open up this WWE Then, Now, and Forever 2018 see what we can find in this thing. Don't forget to follow the card shark, Chris. Gentleman's rule of opening Topps products. Topps likes to put their hanger boxes cards on the bottom. No need to destroy. If you want to sponsor the Then, Now, and Forever, Robert Jenkins, welcome back, sir. We have missed you. I was hoping you didn't storm the castle and get picked up by... Uh, FBI, man. Lots of crazy things going on in the world of uh, baseball. RIP to Hank Aaron, man. Hammer and Hank passing away. Got his record-breaking career home run against my Dodgers. A lot of records being broken against my Dodgers. Baby Daddy, Tatis, there's some space here, so who knows what's going on with that. Baby Daddy, Tatis, getting that, uh, they'll never catch you right on, man. Love it. Getting those two grand slams in one inning off of Chan Ho. 25 Perez is in the house. Welcome, man. We're opening Then, Now, and Forever from 2018. Doctor of Thugonomics comes to Raw as the number one draft pick. Stone Cold, oh, I remember that one when he brought the Zamboni to the ring. Isn't was it the beer truck or what? No, it was the was it the beer truck, right? That he ran into the ring and then splashed everybody with beer. But I definitely remember the Zamboni too. One, two, three, kid facing the Hitman. This is where the Hitman restarted the match, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the match. Like, some craziness happened, and then Hitman had the match restarted because he didn't want to win that way. The Shield reuniting. Triple H takes over DX. Elopes with Steph. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, I remember this one. Jeff Hardy hitting that 33-foot swanton onto Randy Orton. Uh, Kevin Owens making his main roster debut. KO, man. Going to be part of the Rumble going against Roman Reigns. Miz win his eighth Intercontinental Championship. There's something. We got one of the gold parallels, it looks like. Unfortunately, I don't think they're numbered in this thing, but we did get a parallel. Kurt Angle, general manager of Raw. The iconic You Suck chance. Fantastic. 
Shane McMahon returning to Raw. WWE. Tino Sabatelli is the gold. We got a couple of them here. That is a Hitman gold card. Yeah, no numbers, but it is a gold parallel. I wish they would have numbered these up. Hitman gold card. Sarah Logan rookie card. The boss with her on that one. Bobby Roode. I miss beer money. The Miz. Connor. Our Truth. David Otunga. Jason Jordan supposedly making a comeback. We'll see what happens. Kona Reeves. Yeah, I like the Brett, the gold one, man. No way, Jose. That is fantastic. All right, as my uh, son calls him, Samina Joe, but that is Samoa Joe. Smackdown Live. Andre. Classic Andre card. Legend, of course, man. Million Dollar Man. That was the best skit when he had that kid dribbling the ball. And then he said if he got to 15 dribbles, he would give him 100 bucks. And at 14, he knocked the ball away. Matt Hardy. Liv Morgan rookie card. Heck yeah. Hanson, first NXT card. Dakota Kai. Bray Wyatt. Bailey. Carl Anderson. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Nick Across. Looking very angry right there. Turn around. Make it all better. Row, first NXT card. Scott Dawson. Trent Seven. Beth Phoenix. Oh, so sad when she married Edge. Macho Man. Mojo. And Rookie Card. Oh, that Red Heart Gold card. Definitely the card of the pack, though. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for ABQ Family Feud. I got five envelopes in the back here. We're going to play five rounds of ABQ Family Feud. If you have not played Family Feud before, we're going to ask a question that is based off of the game Quirky Family Edition of ABQ Family Feud. First person with the highest answer will win a card in one of these envelopes while we're playing ABQ Family Feud. I go through this box. Every card is a starting bid of $1. If you call out the last name of the card and you're the only one that wants that card, you will get it for a dollar. Shipping is just a dollar if you can wait till you get a uh, full envelope of cards. If you want your cards right away, it's $3.50 for shipping. If you are not the only person, Adam B. in the house now, if you are not the only person that wants that card, if more than one person calls out the name of a card, then uh, you guys figure it out, battle it out. The first person gets the dollar bid. Second person must overbid them to get the card. And you guys let me know because there's an 800 count box here. I'm not going to stop if more than one person wants the card. You guys figure it out. Let me know how much it went for. And that's how it works. Easy peasy. All right. We are here. Failed her test. Uh-oh. Derby City in the house. Just ripped a box of 2005 Donruss Team Heroes. Nice, man. We got some fantastic stuff coming your way as well. We got some good stuff on Patreon right now. And I, I want to know what test two, so we're going to wait to see what Derby City's talking about. Did she fail on the... Uh... On the twerking TikTok test? Body crazy, body crazy. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven answers are on the board. Oh, quarantine till February 1st. Uh, mine works, health care, home health care. And uh, we had a scare earlier in the month, but everything came out negative. 
So we're all good. I just took a test. My work has me taking tests like every three weeks. So it's been crazy. I just took one today. Uh, knock on wood. So far, everything has been negative all the time. So Prayers up, man. We will keep her in our thoughts. And hopefully, everything will be cool. <sighs> Hope you bought some... Uh, some some lotion from Walgreens or something to get you through this tired, dire, tough time. And we're going to go with round number one, ABQ Family Feud, seven answers on the board. Here we go. What reality show does your family belong on? What reality show does your family belong on? <laughs> yeah. Don't need that gift that keeps on giving. Here we go. We're going through... 800 count box auction mania we're going to give everybody till we get through this stack of cards and then we're going to go through the answers question again is what reality show does your family belong on we got jk 2019 rookie card steve r was opening these make sure you check out his video patrick wisdom miles straw William Zastadillo, Kevin Newman, and we got Acuna inserts, National League Player of the Week, blowing that bubble. Actually, I'm saving this one. This one's off the board. If anybody wanted it, I'm sorry. This is a Bud Stoney blowing bubble card. I'm pulling that aside for Bud Stoney. I'll tell you that right now. Sorry about that. Answer number seven is That 70s Show. I saw a lot of answers up there, so we're going to go through them. Greatest players, 150 years, David Ortiz, Big Poppy. Answer number seven was That 70s Show. I got a Joey Lucchesi. As soon as I saw the card, Bud, I was like, yeah, that's a Bud Stoney card. So, Sorry, guys. Nick Birdie. Danny Jansen. I thought of Bud. That's hilarious. Uh, answer number six is Teen Mom. Teen Mom is answer number six. Jake Bowers. Joe Juan Williams. Again, I love it when you call him Big Papa. Marquise Blair, rookie card. Travis Homer. Answer number five, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Answer number five. Uh, the 89 Donruss of uh, Marcus Mariota. Noah Fant draft card. Answer number four. I know I saw this up there. The Amazing Race. We got an Epics hollow of uh, Patrick Mahomes who apparently cleared concussion protocol. Which uh, they said it was a neck injury but because he got up all woozy he automatically had to go into the concussion protocol, even though it was not technically a concussion. Uh, answer number three is chopped. Grab the preparation HO. At least it wasn't like sanitizer. Sean Lee, red parallel. Albert Wilson, red parallel. Mahomes, boom. Is that you, Steve R? Or are we just pretending? Yeah, it's much better than Icy Hot. That is true. Steve R. I'm pretty sure you said Mahomes. If not, let me know. Answer number two is Survivor. We're looking for what reality show does your family belong on. Everybody gave an answer, and we're going through them right now. The Marvelous 2018 or 2019 score. Yep, 2019. Steve R. Boom. Set aside for him. Rookie cars, Jeffrey Simmons. Answer number one is the game we're playing, Family Feud. Which I don't think anybody said because is that a reality show? It's more of a game show, right? But those were the answers. Let me know who is the winner. I know I saw Amazing Race. I don't know if anybody said Survivor. 
I doubt anybody said chopped because this that was a while ago. But I know I saw Amazing Race, so please let me know who our winner is. We got Jared Stidham. <laughs> it wasn't you. Rock Yasin. That is not a flattering picture to have on a football card, by the way. Adam B. said Survivor. Nice. Anybody else? It was Adam B. first. Adam had Survivor. Okay. Adam B. One through five. DeAndre Swift. Rookie card. So if Adam B. had Survivor, he's going to be the winner. Survivor is the number two answer. Amazing Race was on there, but it was the number four answer. Uh, next level, Josh Jacobs on a red parallel. And Kamal Martin, rookie card, red parallel. Robert Jenkins says DeAndre Swift. DeAndre had a fantastic year. He had to play behind Peterson, but still got it done. All right, Robert Jenkins. Swift. By the way, Mr. Robert Jenkins, if I didn't say so, it is good to have you back on the streams. Steve R. Oh, it, it fell down, so it reminded me. We're going to get to number four in just one second. There's number four right there. Last week, we all picked teams. Well, not all of us. Like three or four of us picked teams for the divisional round to win this Duke Johnson rookie card double patch five out of 25. Steve R. has the standings. Steve R., who was our winner, sir? Who wins the Duke Johnson? Who am I going to send that bad boy to? And envelope number four is what Adam B. picked while we wait. I'm putting you on the spot, Stephen. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, Robert Jenkins. That is an angel. Oh, it's a Mike Trout. 2017 Mike Trout. Going to Adam B. Bud Stoney. Racking it up, man. Another win for Bud Stoney. Congratulations winning the five... Out of 25, Duke Johnson, booklet, rookie card. Congratulations, sir. There are two cards in here. The next one is a mosaic. And that is going to be a pacer. That is Jeremy Lamb. Trout and Jeremy Lamb going to Adam B. Just going to write it down before I forget all about it. Robert Jenkins, in case you missed it last year, sent us in a big box of stuff. And we are still trying to give it away. That was so much stuff. We are still trying to give away all of Robert's cards. He's like Terry Bradshaw, except with baseball cards. It's fantastic. Very good stuff. Very generous of Robert Jenkins. And we have been appreciative ever since, sir. All right, next round, ABQ Family Feud. One, two, three, four, five answers on the board. Name a family event that could leave you broke. Name a family event that could leave you broke. Red Parallel, AJ Green, 2020 score. Back-to-back -back Bengals, Tyler Eifert and AJ Green. Kobe Parkinson. Hightower. Kinlaw. Montez, who was actually backing up Heineke in the Washington game and that playoff game. Uh, the question is, name a family event that could leave you broke. Labor Torres. Auction Mania is not a valid answer. Robbie Devers. Zach Collins on the 86. 
Bounty Walton. Alzale, it depends on what the what the card says. Cincy. Sean Murphy. Adrian Morjan for South of the Borders Padres. Acuna Jr., that is his base card. Kevin Biggio. Answer number five. I might have seen that one up there. Funeral. Funerals will definitely leave you trying to get on GoFundMe. Michael King, Lewis Thorpe. I sold uh, insurance for Banker's Life for about six months, man. People don't want it until they need it. And by the time they need it, it costs them way too much. Fernando Tatis on the Diamond King. Anthony Rizzo. That is a Chi Town variation. Gladdy Jr. Goldie. Answer number four is a reunion. Goldie on the parallel, probably a photo variation. Giolito, Mr. No Hitter. <laughs> Five of the same thing, right? Number three is. Or number four was Reunion. Bob Gibson, award winners. Number four is Reunion. Brandon McKay, rookie debut. Johnny Davis for the Rays. And Chase Anderson for the Blue Jays. Uh, answer number three is Christmas. Definitely Christmas, man. Christmas will mess you up if you're not careful. Uh, first Bowman, Cole Stobie for the Phillies. Answer number two, I know I saw this. It is Vacation. Kevin Gowdy, first Bowman. Back-to-back -back Phillies, first Bowmans. Brock Burke on a Prism. Tyler J. And answer number one, I know I saw this. So you're going to have to tell me who had it first. That is a wedding. Appreciate you, Jay's Mix. Thank you, sir. Kyle Hart. Wedding is answer number one. I know I saw a couple of those, but who had it first? Ryan Bolt. Double N. That's going to be a prism as well. Cole Stewart. Mojo. Derby says it was 25 Perez. Nick Martini. 25 Perez. Number four is out of the way. Yamamoto Artist Group. So, one, two, three, or five. Keston Hira, red, white, and blue. Josh Bell, red, white, and blue. And Robbie Ray, who is now a Blue Jay, I believe. I believe Robbie Ray is a Blue Jay, red, white, and blue. But Stoney says Hira. Boom. Keston here. <laughs> you can be bribed. Number five is what uh, 25 Perez says. I believe that's what he said. Give it to Stoney. Okay. First card is a... 35th anniversary of a Met. This is for 25 Perez. That is Michael Conforto on an 83 silver pack card. Michael Conforto, 1983, 35th anniversary silver pack card. We got another card in here. It is a... Donner's 2019 looks like a orange or bronze. I can't tell. That is Ahmed Rosario on the parallel. Rainbow foil. So Confort, two Mets. Conforto and Rosario. 425 Perez. Boom. 
Two rounds down, three to go. Let's do something for the championship games. We got two games in the championships. Pick your Steve R. Are you up for another uh, contest? Steve R. was gracious enough to keep track of uh, the players and the winners of uh, last week's conference games, divisional games. Let's see if he's going to be up for another contest here. Steve R. is going to be getting something from us for doing that. Appreciate you, man. I got something set aside just for you. Four and nine Kentucky basketball record. Speaking of which, I started out one and zero in fantasy, and I'm now going to be one and two in our fantasy basketball subscriber league. Uh, pick the teams who are going to win and the total scores for both games, and Steve R. will write them down, and we will give away this Leaf Metal Draft. Reuben Foster, another Robert Jenkins special. If Robert Jenkins wins, I will pick another card that is not his. But Bud Stoney won that Duke Johnson booklet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derby City. I lost last week because I forgot to put players on the Monday game. Man, three, three or four of my guys are out with COVID. So I am doing horrible these last two weeks because they have all been the last couple weeks. They're all 14-day quarantines. I'm going to see if I can bring up the standings real quick. We'll do that while we're playing. Don't forget to pick your teams and the total scores for both games. The total scores will be the tiebreaker closest to the score, if both teams are correct, we'll win. Appreciate you, Steve R. Steve R., fantastic guy, man. If you are not subbed to Steve R., somebody drop his link and check it out, man. Steve R. does all kinds of stuff on his channel. Good, good stuff. And we're going to go to round three. All right, yeah, Steve, let me know when you're ready. Steve's writing answers, so we're not going to mess up Steve here. So we're going to check out fantasy basketball. ABQ Sports Cards, fantasy basketball. And we're going to see how horrible I am doing. Butter, Steve, just let me know when you're ready. Didn't mean to... To rush it on you guys. Let's see how we're doing here. ABQ. Okay, so the week's not over yet, but I'm still in fourth place, one and one. And we're going to see how everybody else is doing. Big Kurt is killing it, I think, since he's killing it. There we go. Yeah, I lost to Big Kurt by 30 points, and I left like 70 points on the bench Monday night against Big Kurt. All right, perfect record so far. Hotbox cards and the Sissy Cincy slash dunks. There are the standings. The wall jumpers, homie Ed and Kentucky Fatbacks all tied for second. And myself in second place all by myself with the Indy Eliminators and Team K rounding out that one. Who am I picking? I, I, I picked earlier. I picked uh, the Bills and the Bucks. And I'll tell you why I picked the Bucks. If you missed our stream on ABQ Sports Network, um, I have not been one for NFL conspiracies. Like, they're all over the internet right now. But, uh, if you watched Jay Glazer's report before the game, 
the Saints game, he straight up said that that was Drew Brees' last game. Before the game even started, he straight up said that was Drew Brees' last game. And the guys were like, you mean in New Orleans? And he had to quickly correct himself that, yes, he meant New Orleans. So, And then after the Bucks game, two of the post-game announcers, Strahan and somebody else, both said that Tampa Bay had made it to the Super Bowl and uh, had to quickly correct themselves that they got to the NFC Championship game. But, yeah, both of them. said Tampa Bay made so I'm going to go with it that Tampa is going to make it and if they do I'm hopping all over the conspiracy train because that's just too crazy Javi Baez league leaders from 2019 Correa and Bregman Cal Ripken 89 tops we're going to go through some cards here while we're waiting for Steve R Gerald Dempsey Posey. I don't think it's happening. Like, I don't know. I don't know. If the Bucks win, I'm definitely not going to know because that is just too crazy. Aaron Donald. Speaking of Drew Brees, there he is. Christian McCaffrey. Zeke Elliott. J.J. Watt. Bo Jackson. all start Creamsicle in it. T.J. Watts, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers. What scores do I pick? I think the Bills game is going to be low. If Mahomes doesn't play, Casey needs to step up their defense in order to stay in that game. And uh, I think it's going to be 38 points on the Bills game. And uh, if uh, on the other side with the Bucks and the Packers, it's probably going to be pretty darn cold there as well. So I'm going to go 45. They'll score some points, but Aaron Donald, Marshall Falk, Joey Bosa, Ladaney and Tomlinson. It's probably a primetime game, so it's going to be late in Green Bay. If it's an afternoon game, it's definitely going to be over 45. I'll call that right now. But either way, it's going to be cold. Yeah, let's do it. It's probably going to be flip-flop, but I'll take it. Fox Bama, what's up, man? I just sent your package out today. So hopefully it'll get there early next week. I didn't want to not let you know I was going to email you after the stream here. But since you're here, I'll let you know right now. Fox family in the house. Another uh, live stream legend over here doing like three, four hours at a time are these guys. Bud Stoney had a 17-hour live stream the other day. Crazy. Y'all are killing it. All right, Steve, are we ready to go? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. We got three more rounds of ABQ Family Feud to go. We are Auction Mania and ABQ Family Feud. Adam B. and 25 Perez have been our winners so far. They are looking to add some more cards. And we got Gypsy Queen Chrome. James Faxon. Joey Gallo. Uh, Ruben Foster, we're giving him away if you want to pick your teams for the championship games and the total scores for each game. Freddie Freeman, NL MVP. We got Sapphires from 2019, Topps Chrome Sapphires. First one's Robbie Cano, but Sony says they're ready. Here we go, round three, ABQ Family Feud. I knew somebody would want the Freeman, Adam B., Going for Freddy. Gypsy Queen Chrome from 2019.
Round three, ABQ Family Food is underway. And Cano. Name the age at which you were looked most awkward. Name the age at which you looked most awkward. Two, four, six answers on the board. Robbie Cano going to Adam B. David Price, World Series. These are all Topps Chrome Sapphires from 2019. Trevor Story. Deer Man in the house. Welcome. Brandon Morrow. Story. Adam B says Story. Steve, I did, was that for Story, Price, or Morrow? Or are you telling me to wait? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I need your Bud Stoney interpreter. Story. Going to Adam B. Right? Like, it would be my age right now, probably. You are correct, Derby City. It's not untrue. Steve, CPU is lagging. <laughs> Birth. <clears throat> All right, six answers on the board. 16 was answer number six. Brandon Morrow. Oakland A Stadium. Lewis Brinson. the horse mackerels Marco Gonzalez Logan Morrison and the twins Justin Upton answer number 5 is 15 Fulty let's see who there we go a lot of good Alabama players the last few years They've had a solid program. I know my team's chock full of Alabama players. Bolte. Gonzalez. And Andrew McCutcheon for the Phillies. Finishes out that. Answer number four is 11. Name the age at which you looked most awkward. Answer number four is 11. Do I have cards for you still? I probably do. I know I was waiting for you to move, right? I think that's what was going on. Cut. Check it. A few people's cards who said they were moving. Uh, let's see, uh, we're going through some more cards here. Ant number three is 14. Twenty five Press says the A's. Neurologist might get your drive. That'd be awesome, bro. You get to drive again? That that would be cool. Twenty five Press says the A's. Oakland A Stadium. The Oakland Coliseum. Uh, we got 2020 Stadium Club. That is Gio Urshela. Uh, answer number two. Are we on two or are we on three? Answer number three is 14. And answer number two is 12. I don't remember if I gave either one. Tops Chromes. We got John Means from 2020. Ozzy Albies. Mauricio Dubon. Answer number one is 13. Another John Means. This one is a prism, or a refractor, I believe. Yep, that one's a refractor, John Means. Christian Walker. 
Answer number one was 13. Anybody have 13? Who is the winner here? Cincy with the dub. Oh, Jameis Winston eating dubs. Oscar Mercado. Anthony Santander. Cincy Sports Cards. We got one, three, and two. Left over. Your choice. One, two, or three. While he's deciding, we're going to keep going here. Sam Hilliard. Shinsu Chu. <laughs> How old are you, Cincy? Nicky Lopez. J.D. Martinez. He says number one. Getting all Nelly on us. Number one. Only one card in this one. What's he going to get? Ooh, looks like some ink. That looks like some ink. A Bowman Sterling, a Richard Schaefer, Rays prospect on the on card autograph for Bowman Sterling. That is from 2012. Yeah, that should be fantastic. Steve R. But, Sony, let me know if you got Fox Bama scores. I think it was right before I asked the question. Just let me know. It's on there, so I will message them if they don't see it. I know I saw it flash on the screen before we started getting answers there. Since he's getting Schaefer, right? Yep, Schaefer. All right. Still two more rounds of ABQ Family Feud. And then we're going to be getting out of here. Tomorrow night is our January mixer. Mega box of Bowman Chrome, Mega box of Bowman Platinum, and not just two boxes of Tops 206, but I added a third box just because you guys are awesome and uh, sold the breakout. Love my eBay page. Yeah, right on, man. It's everything we've opened on the channel. So um, appreciate you, man. This is all stuff. All the stuff in this box is stuff that was going to go on eBay. I'm offering it to you guys first. So that's how we do this. And uh, next round, round number four, there are one, two, three, four, five answers on this board. Five answers on this board. Name the famous villain your partner is most like first thing in the morning. Oh, man. About to get some people in trouble. Name the famous villain your partner is most like first thing in the morning. All right, we got JD Martinez. Kevin Newman. Another Christian Walker. Well, I guess it depends on what side you're looking at, but Batman's not technically a villain. He's kind of riding the line there, but Nelson Cruz, Lewis Thorpe on a silver optic from 2020, rated rookie. Mike Moustakis, rainbow foil, 2020 tops. Matt Thais on a pink Andrew Haney on a prism refractor and Pujols on a refractor as well. All right, answer number five is Ursula. Ursula is answer number five. Name a famous villain your partner is most like. First thing in the morning, we got red, white, and blues. Put, I mean Pujols. Poor Bud Stoney. My old man loved calling him Albert Puto. We were Dodger fans, so, of course, he was with St. Louis at the time. Bud Stoney says, Pujols. 
killing us over there with the the Cardinals. All right, answer number four is Grumpy. Answer number four is Grumpy. Grumpy is not really a villain either, though. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Andrew Haney on a prism from Topps Chrome. Oh, man. What? Two out of three years? There, there's a prism pool holes for Topps Chrome. Two out of three years. NL MVP. Refractor, uh, Jose Barrios. Pujols again. Getting that snakeskin going. <laughs> Be like a uh, plastic man. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong. Got to gotta get on the good side, right? Another Pujols for Bud Stoney. Yeah, probably the last season. You are correct. Uh, answer number three is Jafar. Uh-oh. Jafar is answer number three. Ronald Guzman on the prism. Another JD. Uh, answer number two. Cruella DeVille. Cruella DeVille. Jonathan Daza. I could see a team that just wanted to sell tickets picking up pool holes for a DH spot. I could see that. Kind of like the end of Griffey's career, like somebody picked him up just to sell tickets because he was approaching, what was it, 600 home runs? Uh, each card's a dollar if you're the only person that wants the card. If more than one person wants the card, it is up to you guys to decide how much the card is going to go for. If you uh, don't mind me holding on to your cards until you have a full envelope, shipping is only $1. If you want the cards right away, shipping is three fifty. Nick Anderson, Gold Cup. Yep, sumo mode, that's right. Corella DeVille was answer number two. Answer number one, I know I saw this one. It is... The Joker. Oh, man. Joker, answer number one. Who's your favorite Joker? Tell me, man. There's like five or six of them out there. They're all fantastic, but who is your favorite Joker? We got Southside Swag. Since he had a first Blue Jays team card, we got Cabin Drury... And Bichette on there. <laughs> Steve R. Those, you missed it last night, man. Cheesy poofs all over. Bud Stoney. Junior Fernandez. Brandon Rogers. Uh, some call him the space cowboy. Some call him the gangster love. All right, since the sports cards win number two, we got two or three left, man. Two or three are the envelopes that are left. Edwin Rios rookie card. He says number two, Carter Keyboom, Future Stars. I don't think he's taking over for Trey anytime soon, though. It hasn't been second and third now. When he came up, it was uh, shortstop. He says number two. Sports cars 24-7 in the house. Welcome. We are playing ABQ Family Feud. Cincy Sports Cards just won. And he got to pick envelope number two. This is an NBA Hoops. Let's see who he gets here. Just one card in here again. Anybody know who that is? Any basketball fans? Place for Los Sons. That is a rookie remembrance jersey relic of Dragon Bender. Another 
Robert Jenkins special right there. Rookie Remembrance Dragon Bender for the Suns from 2019-2020 NBA Hoops. Good job, Cincy. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Jack, you're hilarious, man. Hilarious. All right. Last round, ABQ Family Feud. The only card that is left is card number three. Envelope number three. There are two, four, six answers on this board. And it's fitting that this is the question after this past week. What one word best describes your family discussing politics? What one word best describes your family discussing politics? Jose Rodriguez. Tim Lopes. TJ Zoich. Kesson Hera Gold Cup. Jack Mayfield. Kwan Young Kim. Pete Alonzo Empire State Award inserts. That was uh, him again. And no take sign here. Bud Stoney says Hera Gold Cup. There we go. Everybody was loving the Topps Chrome version of this when it came out. But Stoney going here. Uh, so two pole holes and two heroes. Anyone buy the Topps? Burn. Oh, the Topps now one. No. Not I. Turkey Reds, that is Hunjin Ryu. Jay's Mix says Bizarre. We got six answers on the board. Answer number six is, uh, like me, ugly. Answer number six is ugly. Naked Grandma. Rod Carew. Angel Uniform. Ted Williams. Answer number five was Trouble. Getting all Travis straight on you. Trouble. Carter Keeboom. Roberto Clemente. Decades best, 1960s. Frank Schwindel. Campaign release. Baseball card of him. Batting at the Field of Dreams. That'd be awesome. King Griffey Jr. All-Star Game, 92. Steve R. says Clemente. 1960s decades best going to Steve R 36 more if you have not subbed to Steve R see Steve R PH it man get on over there click on that one sub up to him he's going to do a 250 subscriber giveaway just need 36 more Griffey, Sean Murphy, rookie debut. Answer number four is divided. Gavin Lux, rookie debut. And Aristides Aquino, rookie debut. I thought it was pretty hot. Oh, I guess it is balanced. Uh, Williams? Ted Williams. I was like, Williams? When did we have a Williams? Ted Williams is going to Bud Stoney. Lux and Aquino. There's Aquino, rookie debut, and Gavin Lux, rookie debut. If both those guys get back into the starting lineups, you should see their cards going back up. They did drop a little bit as both those guys. Gavin Lux got left off the World Series roster, and Aquino was on and off again in the lineup, but he was mostly pinch hitting. Those guys can bounce back. Their cards should be on the way back up. 
All right, divided was number four. Answer number three is argument. Answer number three is argument. We got Sean Poppin. Josh Taylor. Uh, Calvin Ridley, Donruss, 90. Parallel. Insert. Damian Williams. Chiefs Champions card from Donruss. No faith in Aquino. Uh-oh. Answer number two is heated. Answer number two was heated. Power formulas. Joe Thomas is probably kicking himself for... Retiring, and now they're doing all fantastic. Uh, he did, and then uh, answer number one. We'll see if anybody had this one. Tredavious White on a Dominators is loud. Anybody have loud? Henry Ruggs the third on a paralleled rookies insert. Joe Thomas, Steve R. Yeah, sports cars twenty four seven. If you know how to drop your uh, your your link down, put it up, man. Julian Aquara, rookie card for the Lions. Grant Delpit had to hate. <laughs> Angry implies loud. Yeah, that Rugs is a nice card, man. He is going to be a good player too if if he can get stuff going. Robert Jenkins wanted the Rugs. Sorry, man. Running my mouth and missed it. Henry Ruggs III on the insert parallel for Robert Jenkins. No one had loud. Anybody want to... Loud, heated, argument, divided, trouble, and ugly. Should we go to the next one, or somebody want to declare a winner? Grant Delpit... <laughs> I was like throwing the hate around already man Kobe Parkinson Jalen Davis <laughs> we need a second on that one modern artist that is who is that that is Shane Bieber didn't even look like Shane Bieber yeah you were Ron Simmons in it man Junior Fernandez Zach Gallon. We'll do another question just since everybody's basically just going to vote for themselves. We'll do one more question. Speed round here. Easy question. What style of cooked egg best represents your mother? What style of cooked egg best represents your mother? They surveyed 100 people. This answer had 43. But Stoney wants Zach Gallon. I will tell you right now, since he has win number three, no need to put it up there anymore. We're just doing a quick one. That is scrambled. Maybe. There we go. Since he sports cards, win number three in a row, man. Good job, sir. We're going to go through these cards. We're going to show since these cards, and then we're going to get out of here. You guys are awesome. 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time tomorrow is our January mixer. Hopefully you will join us. If not, catch us on the replay. Y'all are very awesome. Yeah, we used to do rounds, but it would take forever. So now I just, uh, whoever has the, the highest answer first. Steve R. says May, but Stoney says Lux. Sumo suits for the May. Rounds was fun. All right. 
Maybe we'll do one round. Are you talking this one, Steve R? Yeah, we did like three rounds and then two fast monies. Uh, heated was the number two. Anybody want to agree that heated counts the same as hate? I will give it to Fox Bama. Steve wants Lizardo. Okay. Lizardo for Steve. Master and Apprentice, I think that's what you're talking about, right? All right. Since he's going to get number three. <laughs> number three is an optic, and it is a mythical uh, Jose Altuve. And last card is a Hall of Fame from Mosaic Basketball. Anybody know that face? That is John Stockton, Hall of Fame Mosaic card, going to Cincy Sports Cards. Bud Stoney getting it right. Eventually you will be right, Derby City. Eventually it will be a Shack card. I mean, I, I know you're mesmerized by... Shaq Stradamus back here, but uh, that was John Stockton, sir. All right. Who ended up with the uh, the Dustin May butter, Steve? Appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging out. You guys are fantastic. Congratulations again to Bud Stoney picking correctly last week on our football set. Winning the Duke Johnson Dual patch, rookie card, 5 out of 25 booklet for the uh, championship round. It's the Reuben Foster Leaf Metal Draft on card autograph. That's what we're giving away for that. So make sure you add your teams and your scores into Steve R. <laughs> I know I love this thing, man. It's fantastic. All right, y'all are awesome. Yeah, that book was fantastic. Another one of uh, Robert Jenkins' cards that we are giving away. He sent us in a bunch of stuff. This was one of them. Fantastic stuff by Robert Jenkins. Appreciate him greatly. And uh, we got a bunch of his stuff to give away. Once we hit 500 subs, we're giving away another Robert Jenkins cards, which is this uh, AJ Green one of one printing plate. From 2016, National Treasures Collegiate. So if you have not subbed yet, please do so so we can give away that card to somebody. <laughs> you were a fool. It's okay, man. If you want them back, just tell me. I'll send them back to you. Y'all are awesome. Great time. Appreciate you all. Tell them. Subscribe and hit the post more videos and like. Boom. It was fast. But he said it. <laughs> Lotteria, um, I'll drop a video on that after the stream. I have it up there, and I've been staring at it, and I'm like, I'm going to make a video. But, yeah, you are correct. Beaver Breaks in the house. We are wrapping up, man. Appreciate you stopping by, though. And, uh, yeah, probably about an hour, I'll drop a video for Lotteria. So make sure you're hopping in on that. Is there are only going to be five spots available if we get more than five people, we will Wheel of Destiny, the five people who will get a spot in Lotteria. Appreciate you. Have a great night. Stay safe, and we will see you again next time. Bye, guys.